Hey, BG Radio here with The Swindle, a steampunk cybercrime adventure. It's described as being like a mix between Spelunky, one of my favorite games, and Deus Ex, maybe a little Mark of the Ninja, it's a 2D side-scroller. Uh, you play a thief, thus the cybercrime paper. It's by um, the guy who did Ben, ben There, Damn That. Ben There, Damn That. Oh, uh, really quick. They're size 5 games. Or he is. I think there's someone else there. That's how much I know. I play a little bit of Been There, Damn That. I never finished it. That's like a point and click adventure kind of game. But I was interested in the swindle just by that uh, description of being a mixture between Spelunky and. It. You could say Spelunky and anything, and I would be interested. I played a little bit of it, thus the continue game. But. I will just go ahead and start a new game. So, let me set up some backstory. You have 100 days to become such a great thief that you can steal a device called the Basilisk, which is set to stop all thievery. <laughs> just just cut, it, cut it dead. Cut thievery dead. So if you need to steal the thing, that's going to stop thievery forever. Let's go. So essentially, you keep you break into buildings, like you break into houses, you break into factories. Uh, it's got a very UK steampunk sort of tilt. I just kicked my dog in the head. Not very hard. She's hiding out down here. Um, in 100 days, Scotland Yard will activate their breakthrough AI technology, codenamed the Devil's Bas Basilisk. Its surveillance capabilities will be total. If the project is completed, your career as a master burglar will be untenable. Steal it! Before that can happen. You have a hundred days, because in a hundred days it's gonna happen. So you, all, you always see to start off as this guy. There's Dan Marshall. In there, Dan that. So, uh, you got simple things. You can jump. You can, uh, attack, but not inside of your little airship here. And so, as you gain money, you use your money, as you steal money, <laughs> as you gain money. You can use it to upgrade your agility, abilities, tools, goggles, and miscellaneous. And one of the first things you need to get is the hack skill, allows these to hack computers and basic security measures. So I'll look at those a little bit more in depth, but uh, Tom Boot, since I have no money, why? Start out in the slums in the underbelly of old London town. Easy place. Uh, there's some simple pickets here. So, all these buildings, these structures, are guarded by robots for the most part. I've not seen any humans in this game whatsoever. I think they're a humanoid robot. So I'm Henry. I got zero successful heist. And a successful heist, what constitutes that is stealing, like, somewhere from... 80 to 90 percent of the money in a place. So you saw, I can attack. I got my little club in my hand, and I just beat that robot with the back of my head. And um, there's yellow, kind of yellow areas in front of them describe their uh, field of vision. Here's a computer, but I can't hack it because I don't know how to do that yet. Computers are full of big money, so that's one of the first things you want to do. That's why it's so cheap. Um, as you see, you can open and close doors. And, uh, you can't see through doors. You can make noise, but I have yet to encounter or play far enough to get to a point where robots are starting to respond to noise. Uh, if you hold down one of the left bumper using the Xbox controller, you can tiptoe, which is so far only useful for if you need to, like, get really precise, which in later levels will happen, but I have yet to see it be useful to... How do I get down there? I have yet to see it be useful for anything else. I have 96 pounds, a pound sterling, uh, I need four more, uh, I can take as long as I want to rob this place, as long as I don't get caught, um, it looks like I'm kind of boned here though, I don't see a way to actually get down, and sometimes uh, it's procedurally generated, it just generates a level. No two levels are going to be the same, but they have similar features. And uh, unfortunately, I see no way to get down there. You can get bombs later, but I don't have any. So one of my days was spent getting 96 pounds, and 
unfortunately I can't hack on the next level. I got lucky once, so as you can see, cash stolen, 5%. That sucks. And only 99 days available. There's no reason to go back to the airship. Um, so might as well just move on to the next place to rob. And hope for the best. If I can't find $4, four dollars, four pounds, I am worthless. Just sitting right there. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can. Even though uh, it's going to be very hard to hit the maximum. As you can see, you can slide down walls, you can jump up walls. It's really useful. You're going to do a lot of this. I've been doing a lot of just slide down the wall, jump, slide down the wall, and then get off, clubber dude. Grab that money. So as you see, that's a dead end. Front door to that house leads to a dead end. But you can climb up onto the roof. Um, this is a window right here, and as you can see, look, I'm smashing the window, I made a lot of noise, no one cared yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for him to go by, slam across the head, stand here right in this robot's face, jump, attack! It's always good when you can jump attack, slide down, and sometimes you get into situations like this where, what purpose is this room? But this guy is also trapped. Um, a guy trapped in a hole is great. A guy trapped on like a little island surrounded by holes, not so great. Because <laughs> he'll just go back and forth, just essentially cock blocking you of stealing money. So now I got 72 pounds. That's enough to go back to the airship. I was only 8%. That's all I could do. I couldn't get anywhere else in the level that I could see. I might have been able to go around the other side, but I got enough to get my first update of uh, upgrade. Which is going to be... Hack! Hack! So I can show off some hacking here. Zero successful heists because I just got in and out. Also, real quick, I'll look at the rest of this tree. I know, I already got it. So there's multiple levels. Hack, skill 2, 3, 4, allow you to do things faster. Um, yeah, unlock doors, security stations, hack drones. Um, here's the speed to do it faster with better accuracy, which I'll show off in a moment. Um, aptitude, get more funds when you hack. For some reason, <laughs> that's not hacking related, but make your melee stronger, which costs a lot. 30,000, 100,000, uh, 40,000 to smash through doors and windows. I haven't done that one yet. Sounds like fun. I might buy it for the this game curious. Bionic eyes. You have to pay 10,000 pounds to just be able to look up and down, which is why I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, and then 40,000 to do it even better. And then teleporter, you can pass through solid objects like walls and doors. I'm interested to see what happens there. Um, so let's go back and hack a computer. Hack a computer. Stop all the downloading. 98 days. So it's raining. That's just the right time for a, a robbery. So here's two guys patrolling and a side by side. They're not gonna notice when another guy gets knocked out either. So if I let this guy survive, walk up to the side, turn around, he doesn't seem to care that his buddy just got his head beat in, so <laughs> that's nice so far. Okay, so here's a bad situation where I've got Oh that guy's trapped in a little island. See? There's no reason to go down there because there's spikes. Someone has spikes in their house. Love them. Uh, so one of the next useful things to upgrade is your jump, to give yourself a double jump. Without it, I can't get up there. I'm just kind of useless. So right now I've only stolen eight pounds worth of stuff, but I'm gonna go up here. Uh, there's one little pile of money. This is gonna be a little tough. Oh, got him. one hit. All right, so it might be safer to actually go to the window, but smashing through the window takes a long time. So I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn his back on me, and then just club him like that, break through the window, see if I can, no, I can't jump up against the window to, oh, oh, I did it, okay, I'm on top, so the way out of a level is always inside of your little, uh, ship, your little tube thing that you dropped in on, it's not really a tube, but your little canister, your little emergency pod, pod's the word I'm looking for, so I'm gonna knock this guy out, drop down to the hole, and then do the same to him. So for from here, uh, I'm gonna club that guy. Now see the thing is, like I said, I don't know how to double jump. So if I hop down there, it's gonna be really hard for me to get back out. It is possible at this early stage, with being so underdeveloped, 
that you can just completely clone yourself, which if you do so, terminated employee has to happen. <laughs> which means that you don't get the haul and you wasted a day essentially. So if it looks like you can't get out of a place once you get in there, don't even try, just go. 32, it's not a good haul, but it's better to get 32 out and be alive than to get more and die. 4%, so there are no computers for me to hack, unfortunately, so on to the next ice. And that's just kind of the nature of this game. Sometimes it's good, and you have a really good run, you're like, yeah, I'm doing awesome, I'm stealing all this money, and other times it's just kind of depressing, you're like, oh man, this was awful. So, as you see, there's drones here, they're unarmed, they don't have guns yet. <laughs> And there's a slower uh, security bot. No, so if I'm lucky, I can get them without having to run back into the other room. So all robots down. So slide down. Hope there's a way to get out of here. Uh, okay, so it's not looking so good. I don't know if I can hop back out. It's gonna be really tough. So I'm getting really bad luck here. So I'm gonna try to go back up top. Now this is gonna be a little tough because. Right, smash the window really fast. Take that guy out. And I have better luck up here. Oh, get him! Get him! Alright. Doing really well so far. Don't jinx it! So let this guy kind of chill his way up the stairs. Beat him! And uh, I'm gonna make myself a little exit here. There's a computer down there. Oh, and. Mm, okay, I can't get out. So, what I want to do, actually, a better solution to get to that computer, which the computer is probably going to give me most of the, the earnings of this particular stage. I'm going to want to do this, beam this guy, close the door. There's a lot of money. Two computers. Alright, so this is really good. I need to wait for this guy to show up. There's a lot of waiting in this game, but it gets really intense in later levels. Oh, kind of tried to juke me. So, as you can see, hack computer showed up, but here we go. So I hold down Y to hack, and I have to press in certain directions whenever it pops up. So far I've seen no punishment for failing, but yeah, it looks 635 I believe it popped up. So I'm gonna hop down, get this guy, kinda run away. Oh, that second computer is just in a really bad spot, I don't have any tools that can help me knock that guy out. If they spot me, I can hack and run, which is it's a totally an option. The police will eventually show up. If, uh, well, my dog's trying to get out <laughs> for some reason. Alright, bye with you. But yeah, if the, if I trigger the alarm, all the robots will be aware of me, but they don't have guns or anything yet. And, um, the computers will start to siphon money out of the account, so I can't, you know, steal everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and trigger this. The police take a little bit while to respond, a little bit of a while to respond. So I'm going to hack this because I really want the money and I'm going to run like hell. Let's go! <laughs> so I hit right, up, down. See the money's kind of leaving there? So now I'm just going to run. It's going to take a while for the police to show up. The music gets crazy. A bell's ringing. Fear the bell. I have, like a, I have a clear shot out of here, so... Easy peasy. Leave all the doors open. Let them know I was here. Look at all that money, that's great. I think that's enough to get me the double jump. So I'm gonna return to the airship. 93%, and that's considered a uh, successful heist, as you can see. Henry, Henry Beresford, Beresford, one successful heist. 93%, that's great. Those two computers alone were pretty much the bulk of the money. So go back, and um, double jumping is, yeah. Oh, it's 2,000 to get that extra jump. Ah, uh, so I don't even have enough, unfortunately. But yeah, you get double jump, triple jump, and then later quadruple jump. Movement speed, you can make it better, which uh, some people, I've seen some articles or reviews talk about the controls of the game and how it's like a little, it feels a little sloppy, you don't feel like it's as tight as it could be. I don't know what happens if you buy movement speed, if that makes it feel better, but I've been able to get by after I kind of got used to it. So let's go back, I need more money. And as you can see, like there's multiple E to upgrade your security level to go to later levels. I've only been to the next level. I've gotten security level one. It costs quite a bit of money. I think it costs like four four thousand to go to the next level. 
and then probably just up from there. Knock you out! So that computer up here is going to be pretty much my ticket to getting the double jump. Which is pretty necessary to rob in a lot of these later places. So it's hack up. So I kind of felt like if I messed this up, money should just kind of get siphoned. But yeah, that's enough. I could leave right now if I wanted to. But I'm going to see what else I can do. Because no one here is going to really be able to kill me. I do believe there's fall damage. I've been freaking out about falling too far, but I've not actually dropped too far yet. Come on. He's got his little line of sight aimed at the ground. But sometimes you get lucky like that and you can knock him out before he actually turns. Say he, it's his little drone. Before it turns its um, light back on you. So this room is pretty useless. I think I can just leave, actually. I didn't see much of anything else left to do. I, I have run into a situation, speaking of controls, where there's been like a little spike pit on the floor, and you really probably should feel like you should jump over a one square block. <laughs> That's 100%. That was everything. Great. And as you see, my XP bonus as you get successful heists increases. And so it says XP bonus, but really it means I hauled... Um, I was able to haul 900 pounds out for ghosting, not triggering any alarms, 750, and then it gave me a bonus onto that for the 1830. So let's go back to the airship and for real this time, buy double jumping. Because I need it, I want it, buy it now. Oh yeah, say yes to actually buying it. So the cool thing about this, um, uh, unfortunately, you don't have any control over what character you have, and it always seems to start with Henry, like I said, but there are some other cool-looking kind of steampunk thieves that you can get. There was a girl with kind of like a mask on that I had before, and I really liked her. And uh, there's another robot that I really liked, and I accidentally killed... I think it was also a her. I think I accidentally killed her, like, immediately upon getting her. So here's a situation where you got... I can double jump over those spikes, but the ceiling is low, and then there's these robots stuck on really tiny platforms that I just, I'm going to trigger an alarm or kill myself. So it kind of sucks, but in that regard, you can always, here, so let me show off the double jump real quick. Just release a little bit of steam. Okay, so I need to smash this window. So... You just have to be really careful, it's a very kind of meticulous game, there's a lot of start something and then finish it later. In terms of controls, like you saw right there, if you kind of hit the wall just right, you'll run up it a little bit. I've had some issues with that, where I'm just trying to climb up the wall, like right here. I want to climb up the wall so I can get inside. Smash this window. Uh, get myself a little bit more of an entryway. But you'll try to like run up. See, I accidentally did it again. Just kind of want to get inside, but I accidentally run in. Uh, I think there's a dead drone in that spike pit. That does happen as well. I'm a little afraid to try to cross there, so I'm gonna go even higher. Take it higher. And there's a window here. I'm just gonna smash my way on in. No one seems to care. Oh crap, so because I did that in a little path, they can actually walk outside now. <laughs> um, crap, okay. Let me get over. Two birds, one stone. Take you out. Oh, see, they, no one gives a crap that that drone, this inactive drone just fell. I'm gonna try to drop down real quick, grab this money. There's a computer down there. That's, I'm gunning for it. Knock him out, knock him out. So it's a little slow in the beginning, I will admit that, because it, like, it took a while, it took two or three tries to get the, the hacking. Oh no, can I not go down there? It took two or three tries to get the hacking, then it took a couple tries to get the double jump. So it's like a little slow, but, and you saw, like, there's a lot of abilities, but only a hundred days, so you're unlikely, I got a little afraid of falling there, you're unlikely to actually unlock everything for your thieves before the day is over, the hundred days are up. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can get to that computer. So this hall is miserable. 32. I'm just not going to risk it. Because I'll likely die, so that was awful. And since it's not enough money for anything, another heist. So, I mean, so if you like what you're seeing, I definitely think the game is kind of a fun 
It's a fun game. I don't know if they plan on doing anything different with it, like if it's going to get any DLC or if they're going to expand upon this concept, make a sequel. I mean, it just came out uh, a couple days ago. But here's an, uh, another thing happening right there. There's, that on the ground is a mine. However, I can hack it if I get close enough. And it won't really blow up until I get super close. However, if you fail to hack, it will explode. <laughs> it explodes pretty fast. So now that I've hacked it, it turns from red to green. If a drone or robot um, goes past it, it will explode. It doesn't seem to trigger anyone else's awareness, but it can get some robots out of your way. I've used it offensively before. Now, this is kind of upsetting. Oh, so I got a little risky there, all for the sake of knocking the one guy out. So this is kind of, I don't know how useful of a location this is going to turn out to be, but... Uh, see, running up the wall was pretty good there, but I just never know what's going to happen. I act like it's never going to happen, and then it happens. So... Alright. This is a little scary because there's a mine here. If I hack it... Let me get this guy out of the way. If I hack the mine, and this guy's really close, he will immediately set it off. So I kind of want him to scoot to the right, or either come farther left so I can blow him up. Alright, I've got a little bit of a reprieve here. I'm gonna hack it. Oh god. I might... Okay, so I didn't hack it all the way, but I ran away and I got really lucky and uh, blew him up. There are still spikes down here, so I want to double jump. So the first way I figured out how mines work were, I'm like, I think this is a mine, and then I avoided them, and I got really close to one, thinking I could hack it, and the hack prompt didn't show up. So I was like, oh, maybe I have to buy it. And I didn't see the option to buy it either, so I was like, uh, I don't know. So, the very first, so eventually I'm like, well, how do mines work? And I just ran over it and blew myself up. Oh, I almost triggered that. That would have put a real end to my run, so I'm getting really unlucky in terms of uh, computer placement. There's one right here, but there's just a lot of guys. So I can double jump and knock these guys out, which is really great that you can jump and attack. Take you out, get close to this mines. This is all I really use sneaking for, is just getting close to mines. So I've hacked it. I need to get rid of this thing before it. If it blows up, if the mine blows up so close to the computer, the computer will be destroyed. I learned that the hard way to <laughs> set off a mine. Got my money. So now this isn't such a bad run. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I forget that this <laughs> line of sight is so far. Oh, crap. I'm like right on the edge. That's when I try to run. Okay. Got them. You have to always have to make sure that you don't jump too far as well, because you can bypass them. And they have melee weapons, so they you can trigger them, and then they're a little slow to respond, I think. But you can trigger them, and then they will bop you in the head in one hit, pretty much this game. There's no life, one hit kill. Uh oh, come on. I think the game actually keeps track of what time it is, for real. So the the chime going off right now. Oh god. Oh, I got really lucky there. So it just now hit 7 o'clock my time, so that's the second chime. Third chime. Four. Five. Six. If it rings one more time. Oh wait, maybe that was seven. Or maybe, I don't know, it, it rang six or seven times. Maybe my count was off. Or, uh, but I mean, it's on the hour, so close enough. On the hour, it rang. I don't know what time this game thinks it is, but I got all the money. Uh, I've got 3,000. I don't know if that's, a, I don't think that's enough. I think I have to do one more run. I'll go to the next area, show off a little bit of what that has in store. And then, uh, I can call it a, a game curious, so... Let's have another successful run.
I don't know if I can trigger this mine by getting too far off the ledge. I've tried it before and it didn't really work. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to jump over that mine either because there's just no height. So, just, I don't think it's worth it to go in that way anyway. I'm not seeing a lot of money until I get over to this side. No computers. Uh, this, is kind of, this is kind of a very, uh, pardon my French, shitty house. <laughs> Alright, these two guys are gonna come over here, I'm gonna knock them the Okay, so. Oh, here comes the slow guy. As for me, I like I like the pacing of this game. Uh, I can play Spelunky quickly, but I often tend to just take my time and be extra careful. That's just how I am. So this game really kind of taps into my, oh, come on, come on, come on, you know, tension, kind of. My love for the tension. Oh, oh, don't. See, my, boom. And I like a little bit of slow motion effect as well. Sometimes it triggers when I attack enemies. I don't really know consistently. I'm a little afraid that this is just really a bad house, like I said. I can try to use this mine to blow up a hole in the floor, but it's not gonna make that big of a hole. I think there's just no way to get into the basement. So unfortunately, this house is kind of a bust. Man, it's just a, I can't believe so many of the seeds for house generation have just been so bad in one game curious, so I'm not even gonna go for that. To the next house! Uh, so... That's eight days. Another heist. And as you can see, like the property, it just generates like some random numbers, the name of a a street, automaton road. Oh, so now I've played enough that I've started hitting houses that have uh, security camera-esque robots on the ceiling. There is a computer in here, so that's great. There's a pretty good range of sight but likely won't see me. I need this robot. This drone needs to kind of aim its light somewhere else. It's gonna be a little tough. I found no way to destroy the security cameras, though. I've hit that thing a few times. Oh, man. This, I don't... See, I've hit it just there, and it didn't really do anything. It just goes clang. So that means I have to be pretty fast cognizant of which way it's facing. Alright. Okay, that's two drones down. So, uh, an upgrade, like, ha hacking faster, hacking speed, would be great here for when you got the security camera directly above the computer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, because even if I trigger it, this computer's gonna have like, a lot of money in it. No way, there was no way. <laughs> but this is actually enough to get me to the next level. There's just no way. Uh, 54% though. So a better thing to do there probably would have been to try to go deeper into the house first and then come back and hack that last. But I'm actually gonna see, I'm either gonna go to the next area, which is gonna give me better money rewards, but I also wanna be stronger. Or I'm gonna see how much does it cost to hack faster. Hacking speed is 5,000. Uh, like I always return. So, for the sake of this video, I'm going to give myself clearance to the next area. Which is like a factory, a warehouse district. Uh, imports and exports. Hack chips. Let's go. Check it out. This is going to be tough because they're going to be locked doors immediately in front of me. <laughs> So I can't even hack this yet. I can't walk through it. But if I'm lucky, I can find, yep, here's a, a computer and a pretty easy room. Ah, uh, crap. So far down, I can't just double jump. If I can triple jump, I can probably knock a dude out. Oh, no, I'll just mess that up. Okay. This is going to be easy. Now it's just this guy. Got him. 
Alright, let me hack the computer before I worry about the mine. I don't even know if I need to worry about the mine. But that, $2,000, I mean, that's great. Why would I not want that? And since I don't have bombs yet, I can't get through that wall. So I'm going to go up and above. There's a window that leads into <laughs> slide real ale. Kind of another dead end room. Oh great, so I can break in here, knock these guys out, get the money. Who cares about that drone? This bag of money. Oh boy. Um there is a computer in a bit. Okay, so there's a drone on the far left there that has a mounted gun. That's uh dangerous. Oh, you're coming my way. I don't think I'm gonna risk it, because there's also another camera. There's a mine directly beneath me. I have no way to hack it unless I could have come in through that side door. I think I'm just going to be finished. There's, there's just a lot of, that's what this game really is. It's just a lot of making that decision of, you know, how much can I achieve with the skills that I have, with the entry points, with the security levels? How much can I get done before I just have to say, it's un you know, it's undoable, it's too risky. So that's only 45%, but I got a good share of money at 5,000. So return to the airship because um, that's enough for me to hack faster. Actually, how much do I need to hack? Um, I can hack locked doors. I think I might want to do that first because then another 5,000 I can hack faster. So I'm going to hack the door so that way I can stay in the warehouse district for a, a few more goes. Red row. So now, instead of, okay, you got found a gun, but instead of me having to find another way in, I can just stand here while this thing points its gun at the door, but not its <laughs> security light, and then just take it out. And this is a great, see, I'm glad I did this, because now I can just sneak my way to the mine. Alright, and it zooms in, but I don't think there's any sort of pressure for me to hack faster. Like, I don't think the mine's gonna explode if I take too long, and the computer's gonna shut down, start sucking out money. It just kinda zooms in. So you can take your time, I think the only pressure there is enemies roaming around you. But look, I've got like 3,000 already, I can just straight up leave if I want to. Uh, so, here's a thing that's gonna happen. That big guy is gonna walk faster, for one thing. I've already hacked this computer. I can't close the door that I hacked. This guy's gonna blow up, basically. He's gone. And that also stops this guy from walking any farther. He would have just left the building, but... Uh, this is faster. Oh! Get him! I really wish my melee was stronger. There's no reason to go into that room, so I might as well get that thrown in there. There's this weird security uh, centipede, I'm gonna call it. I actually don't think there's anything up there. I'm not seeing much of anything. Uh, I hit the I hit the centipede before, and it flipped over and revealed a bunch of blades, and then never flipped over again. So I don't really know how useful of a guard it's supposed to be. So man, takes three hits to take this guy out. Got him. There's a bag of money. I'm gonna go for it. Once I get rid of everything, that security camera up top is pretty useless. Alright, I should be able to double jump and open that door. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna do this, close the door. I really want the money, so I'm gonna get close. Right, up, down. This money, open the door, get out! That's a good haul. That's why I want to stay here because this is a faster way of earning money. If I went back to other place, it would be hard, but then that'd give me a whole lot of money. So that was only 50%. I didn't see other computers. I didn't look very hard, because there's a lot of stuff in my way. So actually, I can make myself hack faster, which is great, and what I would normally have done. But how much does it cost to buy bombs? 5,000. I'm going to show off bombs, and uh, that could be the end of my curious. So we're gonna go back. Bombs are really great. You get three of them. Um, let me 
So if I hold the trigger here, I can equip my bombs in my school slot on the right, which my cam is blocking, but... Um, so, let's just say, is it working to come in this way? It actually is. There's a mine on the ground, it's worth it. Alright, so unfortunately this drone is off to the right! Okay, got him. So I hope there's actually a wall that's worth pulling up, but if not, I'll just pull up something for fun. Alright, open the door. Get knocked out, friend. Okay. So, the problem here is that this guy is going to go back and forth for all eternity. And if I'm lucky and that drone up above doesn't spot me as well, I can knock this guy out and not land in the spikes. But, not anymore. <laughs> So, uh, I don't think a bomb is going to be much good. Oh, actually, a bomb would do some good here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, I'm going to drop a bomb, but it takes me a little bit. I'm going to drop it right about here. Okay, peace out. Yeah, but it blew away the spikes. That's what I wanted to do. So, I blew away the spikes, and now I can actually approach from the bottom. No, knock them out. <laughs> That was perfect. Okay, so I might be able to get rid of this. Okay. And back this computer. So it was very useful to get these tools, as you can see, obviously. I haven't really found a tool that hasn't been for a while. That room's not worth a while, but make sure I don't jump on the spikes. And you don't know how much you miss being able to look up and down until a game tells you that you have to spend money to unlock that ability. So yeah, there are spikes down there. So it actually might be to my benefit to go up into this room and use my bombs to get through that wall. It might take two bombs though. If I'm lucky, oh, maybe only one. So, let me put a bomb on this wall. It's gonna take two. But there is. That's secure. I think that's the security station. I don't have the ability to hack that yet, but I'm gonna go in here to get some money. So unfortunately, I timed that kind of stupidly, so now these dudes are in here. But no worries, that's what the club's for. So that guy is actually trapped in that room. There's no point in opening that door. There's nothing in there. Unfortunately, I don't have another bomb. Otherwise, there's some goodies over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. And always make sure before you spread over stuff that it is indeed already hacked. <laughs> That's a good way to lose your legs. So only 49%, but I ran out of bombs. So, uh... I'm gonna return to the airship. So yeah, that's the swindle, and like I said, there's 100 days up there, 88 days remain. This game you can play for a while, and you can even get to a point, most likely, where like, it just generates some levels that are really bad, and you're kind of fall behind the curve, and you know, like, by, you know, day 30, 35, you're like, I don't think this guy, like, I don't think in this run I'm gonna make it, so you have to start all the way over, and that's a little depressing, but that's just kind of how Spelunky is, too. Uh, I don't know if there's any way to shortcut like it's funky, but I mean, it's only 100 days. Um, I haven't really encountered anything that's been too unfair. But just sometimes you just kind of see areas of a house or a building and you're like, there's no way I can get over there unless you give me like a laser cannon and I can just destroy all the robots. Or, uh, holy crap, uh, a kind of little hawk or falcon just landed on my window so like, literally I got my window open this is awesome I can't wait let me see oh I walked away I was gonna see if I could grab my <laughs> my camera and I don't think I had enough room to move the camera put it over there but hey that's it's immortalized now it happened it was right out there I should have taken a picture of my camera oh man it's right on my window so I'm on like the first floor I have a one-story house anyway that's the swindle um, I like it so far. I'll probably play it for a little while and uh, until I get tired of it, I die too much, never win. But I like I like to beat it just once. So, uh, a horrible night, BG Radio. Uh, this has been another game curious. 
follow up with me on this one to see if I've ever beaten it. I'll talk about it on one of our uh, Super Gaming Best Friend podcasts. Have a good night. Catch you next time.